Hey, this is Matt Gonzalez from Mac Rumors. In iOS 7, Apple introduced AirDrop on iOS. It previously worked between Macs to transfer files, and with iOS 7, you were able to do the same between your iOS devices. But now with OS 10 Yosemite, you can now transfer files between a Mac and an iOS device. So no longer do you have to use email to push that picture to yourself and get it on your phone. Now you can just open up AirDrop and send the file away. To get this to work, you need an iOS device running iOS 7 or later, and OS 10 Yosemite on a Mac released in 2012 or later. On your Mac, you can open a new Finder window and click the AirDrop section to see which devices are available to use AirDrop, or you can also do this from within apps using the Share Sheet. So for instance, I have this photo I took that I want to use on my phone as a wallpaper. I can either drag it onto the Finder window with AirDrop open, or the easier way is to use the Share Sheet and select the iOS device and it will transfer and open up in the Photos app. And this also works for whatever file you're sending. The file will open up in its corresponding app. Same thing on your iOS device. If you want to send a file back to your Mac, just open up the share sheet and select the device that you want to send the file to and tap on the device. It will then download and go into your downloads folder. And that's it. You now seamlessly sent a file between your Mac and iOS device without the need to use Dropbox or email or any third party app. If there's a file and a share sheet, you will most likely be able to use AirDrop, and it really is the easiest way we have right now to transfer files between our devices. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at MacRumors and visit us at MacRumors.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel to see when new videos are up. My name is Matt, and I'll see you guys in the next one.